Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Friday the 27th, I believe it is, of April. It is beautiful. So, Kelly has been gone for hours while we were messing around with the lawnmower, getting that and bringing it home. Uh, email got sent out that mandatory everybody there for a parts department meeting. So, in lieu of that, we're going to take the GSA. I was pondering taking the Riker. I go, ah, I have time to dig it out. I need to go. Kind of a thing. So, here we are. Let's take a GSA ride to work. Hot dang. All right. Let's bust this thing out. Beautiful morning. Oh no, right away I'm getting caught behind a log truck. Oh no, this is not good. That doesn't change the fact that it is stunningly beautiful out here today. Good old Kalama. What a cool, cool town. See a lot of the ships are gone now. There's one that's been hanging out there where the Trojan nuclear tower was, the cooling tower. That one's been sitting there for quite a while. I wonder what the deal is with that one. All these other guys, they're gone. It's cool that that Columbia gets so big in places. Like, you're going down the gorge, it's like seven miles wide in places. It's funny how you can see, I know the shade has an effect too, but you can see different shades in the, in the water. Especially when you get where, you know, like rivers are dumping into it, that'll affect it. It'll just be little, like, different colors. It's really cool. And I'm sure it's where it's, tides are changing or something that's moving across shallower areas and it's stirring stuff up. But she's decidedly murky looking out there today, going through this little slough or inlet or whatever the heck you call those things. I didn't think there was any place on the planet that you weren't next to the ocean. I was a young kid. What did I know, you know? <laughs> All I know is fishing boats and hanging around ocean shores. Especially around the fishing part of it, you know, these little small inlets and little coastal. That's just all I knew. Of course, I didn't, you know, we went from the Atlantic Ocean in South Carolina to the Gulf of Mexico in uh, Alabama. So I'm at work. I don't know what happened. My GoPro locked up, so I couldn't couldn't uh, drive you in. I don't know if I left it on. The battery died. Or oh, look at that! Thank you very much, little You're woman. Welcome. I just want to show on camera. I do meet you at the watering hole every once in a while. <laughs> How was your drive in? It was good. Did you yeah. freeze to death? Not at all. Good. I was very comfortable. But once I took fourth plane, I hit the GoPro, and she never came on. I haven't oh, discovered why. Oh, no. Maybe I left it on, and it ran the battery oh, down. I just, I just don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, technical issues mm -hmm. starting the day off. Another uh, Kalamata GSA standard chassis 2019 R1250 GS Adventure exclusive model. I figured this would freak you out. The last thing you see me on was uh, an HP, and now you're on an exclusive. And the nice thing is, I rode in, so I have my helmet with the uh, transition shield. So I just lower this thing down a little bit, and it's Wonderland out here. <laughs> This one's not called for or sold or anything yet, but I can guarantee as soon as it hits the floor, she'll be rolling. I love it when the little petals are falling from the sky. Yeah, that's wonderful. So does it look any different driving through here with a uh, Hero 7 black as opposed to a really old Hero 4 black? on a chintzy old helmet with a cheap microphone. <laughs> Probably no difference at all. 
I like the 7 Pro. Oh, I was saying that that the uh, I, you know, I come off the freeway and I was gonna bop on and say, oh, I made it to work, yada yada yada, and uh, I couldn't get <laughs> I couldn't get the 7 Pro to boot up. I hit the button a couple of times and looking in the mirror and I'm like, well, I guess you don't want to come on. So uh, I was up there with Kelly getting a cup of coffee and I, that's when I mentioned it. So I get downstairs with my fresh cup of coffee and I go, what's going on with my seven black? Hit the button, it just boots right up. Might have those one climb gloves I'm wearing. They have some uh, sewing like in the tips right there and uh, I think I just wasn't hitting the button right. That's that's why I like to keep a remote on there because you just see everything that's going on. But uh, there's different areas when you get around truck stops and stuff. I don't know what it does, but the you'll lose communication with the uh, with the smart remote, and it's random. You don't know when it's going to do it until you think you're recording. And you look down there and the remote's locked up. <laughs> And oddly enough, sometimes when it locks the remote, it locks the camera with it too. I, I've never come to the conclusion of what's uh, causing all that to happen. But it will. Don't know why. And that's not Hero 7, 6 will do it every once in a while. The 5 will do it every once in a while. Oh, Lord. The 4s were horrendous for it. Let's see how fast this transition shield adjusts. Ain't gonna be as fast as oh Jesus! It's called getting out of the way in a hurry. <laughs> Shift cam thing. You can hear it good when you do it like that. Just grab a big old handful of throttle all at once. All right, no. I don't know where the pucks are. We're out. I don't know if they got lost. What? The BMW reps come in. Yes, we'll be in trouble. <laughs> we get scalded anyway. All right, I'm out. Well, I say we call it a day and head on, head on home. Ah, feel good to sit down on the old GSA. half a second there I pondered if I had the bags on this thing that wouldn't have been such a smooth flow through would it yeah let's go this way I haven't been this way in a long time Whee! oh bad idea Look at this, right out of the gate. Oh, that's for, uh, let's see if we can do a little, a little negotiating here. We're gonna, we're gonna squeeze on through. KFC, Kelly sure likes her Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's a little Southern in that girl somehow, some way. I love them turn signals canceling. Not that that's an important thing, it's just I just don't pay attention to them. And it's embarrassing when you find out you've been driving for miles down the road and the stupid things are on. But that being said, it's it's obvious on on this because just everything's so clear. Turn signals left on, you see it. I mean, you don't really have to look down that much. It just, uh, everything's so clear. It just like jumps out at you. Oh man, are we gonna have a headwind? Anyway, let me, let me get through some traffic here and we'll, uh, we'll come back and chit chat. So I was gonna take you guys across, excuse me, uh, Green Mountain there out of Woodland. Man, that Northwest wind beat me down like it was mad at me holy moly i haven't had a headwind like that in a long long time but that's the direction of the wind like in the peak of summer 
that just absolutely tears you apart right home at night if you take that route just gonna get myself on and get that get that new mower out I'm telling you what I think the last time I was excited about going out mowing the lawn was when my dad cut me free on the lawnmower when I was a young boy for the first time. He says, go on and mow that sucker. Then the old muffler, I think it was like the second time I mowed it, the old, the old muffler was rotted out. I think it was a Murray, it was a push mower. The old ones where the chute was at the right front. You remember the front wheels? You know, instead of having the front wheels up front, I mean, they were in front, but you got one, then the other one stepped back a little bit because that's where the chute was, right up front. I mean, it was one of those. And uh, I had some old bell-bottom jeans and I had I had caught the jeans in uh, sprockets on my bicycles, you know, so I tore some holes in them. Of course, my mom washing them, you know, they had frayed, so there was these little cotton holes that was probably about that big. I fired that old thing up, she cock, cock lights off and uh next thing i know i'm pushing the mower along there i thought i had stepped in some uh into a hornet's nest or something you know they'll <laughs> come up your leg and just like sting the holy heck out of you i feel all this sting and i freak out so i'm getting stung i look down oh that was no sting that old muffler you know because she was just like an open pipe she tossed herself out a little sparky spark there and uh, caught me on fire. <laughs> there was a neighbor guy literally leaping a chain link fence, screaming. Uh, he screaming for me to roll. And he goes, roll around the ground, roll around the ground. He was just screaming. Uh, I left a big old dust bowl in that old Alabama dirt. <laughs> oh, look at the deer right there. Well, hello there. How is your day going? You are a good-looking deer. Where's all your friends? They gotta be out there somewhere. It's very seldom just one of them. Rather than being beat down by the wind, fantastic. Of course, motorcycles perfect as always. It's about as perfect as a motorcycle can get. The old GSA. looking like here or the creek what's the creek oh look at that starting to clear out a little bit she's getting there well that water's a lot lower than what it's been huh look even that creek is just a trickle now looking nice signs that the seasons are changing Ooh. not sure if that's gravel or not i don't think they sweep these back here so at any time, you could be in for a, a less than joyful trip around a turn. <laughs> so I leave work and it's like 70, 71. And I get here, it's 58. Well, hello there, Serengeti. You almost look like you need your lawn mowed. <laughs> An old work tradition taking this you know riding to work tradition to come taking this back road here nope I was pretty sure with the direction that went I, I wasn't gonna smell that cedar mill you wouldn't even know that thing was there if you didn't see the wood you'd never know that, that cedar wood was there but anyway I'm gonna bounce on up to the house here and uh, get myself some lawn mow. Let's break that old John Deere in right away. Oh, it's getting colder. Of course, I'm gonna go up the hill here. I might have to wear a coat out there mowing the lawn. <laughs> Dang. Man. Man, I get home here, it's uh, 50, whoa, it's 57 and still windy out here. Let me see if I can tackle some of this lawn out here with my with my shiny new lawnmower. <laughs> First thing I gotta do is get 
do something with Hennessy so he don't run out in front of me. But I need to get the BMW put away and get the lawnmower out. Man, you have no idea how thick that grass is out there. <laughs> I'm just going to do this half over here. Call it night. We're getting late. But uh, I'm going to have to go get the uh, bagging attachment way sooner than later. Right in the way of hauling it last night. I might get that little trailer for it too. Kelly would like that. But man, this thing just churns it up. It doesn't bog. It doesn't clog. And this that grass is just like wet. You know, so much grass. And uh, what's weird is the thicker it is, the more it kind of mulches the grass. And I'm thinking, that's got to be plugging up underneath there. So I stopped and turned everything off and looked underneath there. And, man, there ain't no pl plugging up at all. It's just churning it up. <laughs> that's a nice nice mower anyway let me get back at it it is cold and windy out here i don't know what the temperature is but i got my sweatshirt on and i'm freezing <sighs> anyway let me get back at it well this is a little late night goodbye i did get more a little bit more than half of the back lawn done yeah got all of the front and uh literally all the grass that I cut is still laying on the ground. It's just not attached to the ground anymore. Yep. <laughs> and I used the uh, that flushing thing and cleaned her off. <laughs> but, hey, hey, hey! Blue dry, blue dried the thing off right quick. And set her aside. Yeah. Till tomorrow, and we started over again at some point once uh, all the Warms dew and up. stuff. I'm not gonna purposely go out. when it's that thick. It doesn't need to be wet yeah once it's normal then i can cut wet no problem but anyway got a work ride in it was a cool day today got the master test done and passed both ryan and i today very cool sasha sasha no sorry about that they are they're totally quiet that's her that's her mogwai or whatever that is what's the furry thing on star wars Oh, the yub yubs, but I Ewoks. No, Ewok, yeah. Yeah, but I just... No, is that what the furry thing is? The main character? Yeah. Oh, Chewbacca. no. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Yeah. Yeah. She does that thing. It's very funny. But anyway, that was part of it. Anyway, we're going to roll. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah, that's really pushing it for light. Yeah. With a GoPro. It's dark. <laughs> yeah, dark. All right, see you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Thanks for watching. Yes. Bye bye now. Bye.